Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Rebel Transmute, shall we? Rebel Transmute is a new Metroidvania game created by the solar developer Evan Tor Games. Rebel Transmute comes out on March 11th on Steam and on consoles on March 14th. Now, I love Metroidvania games, and I'm excited to give this a shot. I will put a link to the Steam page in the description below if you want to check it out. So let's fire away. I'm going to play the game on PC using a controller. Four AMGC Research Station. Uh oh. One year later. Doesn't look good. This is Moon Mikono on the Space Urchin. This recording is an assurance. It's been one year since my mother perished in the Foray Fission explosion. Foray tried to pin it on the Union. Well, I've heard enough corpo speak and excuses to last a lifetime. It's time I saw the situation myself. Terra 6 is, or was, a station focused on terraforming research. My mother, Wendy Mikono, was a lead researcher. I never forgave her for taking a job at 4A. Warning. Current flight path enters restricted space. Pausing trajectory. Awaiting instructions per code 3.36. What are the listed fines? No fines listed. This restriction is SP enforced. Breaking an SP enforced restriction is... The SP couldn't even enforce restrictions back home. I ain't worried. Urchin, get a scan on the planet. Scanning. Detecting various life forms. Unregistered life forms should be reported to authorities. Detecting an energy surge. Well, there goes my ship. The urchin took a hit there. All right, Surface Labs. Dr. Anaya says you're finally awake. Hopefully, you fully recovered in your stasis pod. I'm Dr. Anaya, one of the few researchers who survived the outbreak. Not sure what you've heard, but it was uh, not great. Enough gloom. Come find me in my lab. I'm sure we'll have much to talk about. Also, you might have to break yourself out. Those pods aren't meant to open from within. Well, I gotta run. Lots of work to do. There's a spark blood injector in the storage room nearby. Should keep you alive. Good luck. Okay. Um, I'm in this container here. And I'm pushing X to break out. And I did. Alright. So here I am. And let's just talk about initial impressions. I love the pixel graphics when I was booting it up. Cool story. You get a little bit of like, you know, um... Samus Aran and Subnautica Below Zero with the story. I definitely get some awesome, you know, 8-bit, 16-bit vibes here. And it looks like my little gun doesn't have much range. So what is this? Is this the injector? Uh, I can't interact with that right now. Maybe that's like a grapple point or something with a double jump that I could get. Or if I can go up top. But I can't get through that. Okay. Okay. So, let's see what's over here. I could shoot that guy for sure. Alright. Blast, blast. Now, there's a bit of a, a kickback, a recoil. Uh, spark blood creature. Defeat a spark blood creature. Interesting. So, some of the stuff, if you hit it... Wow, it just changes what it looks like, but it doesn't really pop the bubbles. It'll knock you back. Alright, I have two currency in the upper right. Ooh, I got a bunch. Twelve now. Some more right here. Can I break you? I can go through it. Uh, before I go through this way, though, I'm going to go make sure I go over here. Okay. 
jumping the bad stuff. We got a meanie here. Break you. Oh, laser field. All right, no problem. No problem. All right, um, okay. All right, I can make that, but I can also perhaps go up this way. Let me just kind of see what's both directions. Yeah, definitely getting those Metroid vibes. All right. Oh, here's this thing I wanted to collect. I got it. Blood extractor. Uh, it's an augment. Augment use. Increases spark blood gained from blasting creatures, flora, and objects. Equip at a repair station. All right. Does this count as a repair station? What about that? It looks like a little lab. All right. No. Okay. Uh, so there's one last little secret there below that I want to explore. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go this way. Let me see the pattern here on the timing. Oh, I missed it. I don't think I took any damage falling that far. Okay. Oh, I missed it again. I'm so nervous on that jump. That's my fault. Let's see if I can get the, the timing down for this. There we go. And this just gives me a bunch of extra spark blood, it looks like. Cool. Alright. Now, let's go. I got 45 of the stuff. What does it do? I don't know. That's a long jump. Oh, I didn't make it, and not even close. So I can't make it that way. Okay, that's bad. Alright, let's go someplace else. I'm hurt now. I'm down to two. Actually, about someplace else. Oh, I have a little slide with the uh, right trigger. That's cool. You know what? I should have gone back this way, but instead of going right, let's see if I can go left. I think that might be the key. Mm-hmm. Man, the screen is telling me you are about to die. All right. All right, let's see here. Oh, it's a switch. Okay, cool. So you shoot that, and then you can open this and go back this way. Fantastic. Oh, there's something over there, too. All right, which, which this guy? I shot it. I don't know if I should have or not. Yep. And I slid, and then what's this thing? The spark blood injector. Press B to heal. Ah, using spark blood. A volatile blue substance found on Terra 6. Gain spark blood by blasting enemies. Okay, cool. It's kind of a little bit of a hollow knight. So I'm going to immediately heal. Because I took damage. And let's go this way. So I could touch these purple guys. And I can even land on them, as I thought. But I can't yet shoot through them. Okay, good to know. I'm going to take it nice and easy as I fall. Ow. That wasn't nice and easy. But we're getting some spark blood back. Uh, it's telling me to go this way. For something. Personnel, maybe. So this is a different currency. So in the upper right, it's not spark blood. That's something else. This is spark blood, the blue stuff that's flying off. And I can uh, heal myself up to full, which actually feels really good. Let's go this way. Okay. And uh, let me use this. Respawn set. Uh, assess, assign augments. Okay, so I did get one augment, which is... Um, My heads-up display. The blood extractor. Okay, I assigned that. And this is my heads-up display. This is the GPS. This is the injector interface. And this is the foray expeller. 
Um, all right, so I already have all of these equipped. These are just my utility things. Yeah. I think all of those look pretty important. So we're going to have those on. And let's see this. Data terminal. Repair stations are a place to regain spark blood, tweak your exo suit, and back up your physical matter in case of injury. Okay. I like backing up my physical matter. All right, spark blood looking good. Flying guy. Looking alarming. Ow. Gonna heal. All right. Okay, I'll go this way. Just kind of rolling around, blue guys. All right, we got full spark blood. We got full health. Uh, these dudes seem pretty reasonable so far, unless there's something I missed. Um, let me check out this door. What do we got over here? Okay. What are you doing? Oh my god. Alright. Uh, does this hurt? It definitely hurts. Alright, that's not a way to go. Heal myself up. It hurts so bad, it takes your life force and just rips it out. Uh, what's this? Uh-oh. Um, oh my god. Okay, now this isn't part of the deal. I didn't know that was going to happen, guys. Alright. Uh, hmm, I gotta get a better angle. There we go. Oh no, that was not a better angle. Oh my god. Here, heal. Okay. Oh boy. That guy's dead, at the very least. We got it. Now I almost died. I'm healing up. Oh no, I did die. Did, um, I dropped a health core. Oh my god, I think that means I have to go get it. Um, it does. I have to go back and get my body to get that health core. Okay. Um, lost cores. Um, I can buy it back, but I can just go get it. I'll go get it. I think I beat the boss and then I died on the stuff that spawned afterward. Is or I don't even know if I want to consider that a boss. That might have just been like a mini mini guy. These guys are coming after me. I'm not ready for you. You're too powerful for me. I'm just a young lady looking into the mysterious circumstances surrounding her mom's death. All right, what you got over here? Not right, you. We all see you. All right, that's not the right way. I need my body back. I got it back. And I got a Chivo for recovering it. I'm gonna, I guess I have to fight this again, but at least I kind of know what happens. Oh God. It doesn't make me good at the fight. Okay, so what I'm going to do is recover right now. Or I tried to. Gosh, I pushed the wrong. Oh no, I'm full health. Okay. I was like, I just need to recover. No, no, no. I was mistaken. Alright. Now I gotta watch out. We got another wave coming. Alright. Alright. Uh oh. Oh my god. Another wave. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh god. This is not going well. It didn't go well. Hmm. Ow. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna get my body back and maybe not fight that until. It's not impossible. I could do it. I just kind of wasn't expecting as many waves right away, but okay. Like, these guys are what? Three shots? Uh-oh. Oh my god. Uh, right. About three shots. 
Okay, so maybe what I'll do is I'll go to the left instead. And see if I can, like, find a, some kind of upgrade. Something that makes me a little bit more formidable after I get my body. I just won't engage the boss just yet. Again, I, I probably have to, and I, I probably can. Alright, let me try this again. I'll give him my core back. Alright. So let me see. Is there anything... No, there's nothing if I don't engage. So I'm going to kind of go this way first and just... Well, we can. I guess we can go over here and see what's going on. What's this? Eject brain imprint? Sure. I don't know what that means. Brain imprint. A virtual blueprint of a 4A employee's brain. Oh, it looks like it gave me, like... You see how I have an extra health bar, maybe? I'm not sure about that. Um, I don't think I'm hurting this guy. I think this is a... Uh, this guy doesn't get hurt situation. Okay. So maybe it's a temporary hit point or something like that. Alright. So that's going for me. I'll come back to this. I just want to check one more place. Is there anything else I can get that would, you know, suit me up a little bit? I need all the help I can get. Okay, what's this room? Moon, a service model droid. Droid, I need to know which sector Wendy Monaco or Mikono worked in. My kin call me Blink. Um, okay, Blink, this is Moon Min Mikono. Can you tell me where Wendy Mikono worked? I don't know. I'm not a service model. After the Sparkplug outbreak, the Savior defeated the Hive and gave all the bots here a soul. Uh-huh. I'm afraid I'm not very useful, though. A waste of a soul. Hey, I'm sure that's not true. My whole village is relying on me, trusting me, and I can't even find the elevator down. Elevator? It should be in this room. I'm deadly afraid to ride it all the way down to maintenance on my own. Any thoughts on why it's not here? I'm guessing that Hive Latcher repaired in the wrong spot, blocking a path. I'll look for a way around and let you through. You just wait here. Deal. You're the best. Alright. So this is a... I can't shoot through, and I can't do that just yet, nor that. Alright. Okay. So we'll... You know, we got some more story. A little bit of info. We can use that. We will use that. And, oh, what's that crystal? Now, the problem with that is how the... I can't jump off a wall or something that seems to be required for that, but that looks cool. Um, let's see here. All right, there's a death field. And there's some controls here. This is telling me, like, there's some... They're not controls, they're just maps. Like, there's some stuff above me. Can I use this ladder? Not really. And then there's... Um, if you step on that, you get wrecked situation. Repair drone. You need to use this repair station? Unfortunately... Hive hasn't been able to repair this one yet. Lucky for you, I'm here. Just say the word, supply some red flux for the repairs, and I'll get working in no time. Um, yeah, repair it. I got 30. Okay, I can spawn here, I guess, if I'd like. Oh, it took away my brain. So if you... Okay. Okay, good to know. Oh, here it is. But I lost it. Like, I have the brain imprint, but it no longer is benefiting me. So I don't know what that yellow thing was or why it went away, but it ain't here no mo. Okay, it's another one of these um, bosses. Well, this one's right by a place, so we can try it. I'm sure this is great.
Uh-oh. All right, cool, we got it. So that one was, I wish I could draw those in a little bit easier. I don't know how to quite do that yet. That one was considerably easier than the other one because the, I didn't have to deal with platforms. I could just kind of land on it. Ow, big guy hit me. Oh, he gives you a lot if you hit him. All right, we got a new a new guy to deal with here. All right, good to know. What is this thing? Is it passageway? It is. All right. Before I go in there, though, boy, there's a lot. This is a big game. There's a lot to explore here. Uh-oh. Yep, I can't quite go through these yet. Infused... Uh... Insert fuse to power it. Okay, I need to get a fuse. I don't... Oh, that... There was a guy hiding in there. That's embarrassing. You hate to see that. Oh my god, I dropped on him again. He's like, dude, what are you doing? He... Hopefully he's embarrassed for all of us. Alright, if I go in here, where am I? Whoa! Here's the fuse. Um... Space Urchin. It's my ship. Reboot initiated. Ion back up at 2%. 12 years and 35 days since last login. I've been in, in like, my stasis pod for 12 years? 12 years? No, 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 no. Voice pattern recognized. Exiting diagnostics mode. 12 years? 12 years! Moon, it's good to have you back. System power critical. Entering brevity mode per code 4.26. Wait, you've had a brevity mode this whole time? Listen, Urchin, uh, oh god, 12 years, okay. Locate Wendy Mikono. Resume life signature search. No, for scanners, EMP blast. Damn it. Take survey drive. Map the station. Locate Wendy. She, she, power critical. Eject survey drive. Aw, my ship. Survey corp. A staple of many spacefaring vessels maps the surrounding terrain. Great. Use select to open the resulting map. Okay, good. Guess I'm on my own again. All right, here's the core. A standard issue 4A fuse, or fuse is what I meant to say. So this, you know, I'm also getting vibes of, uh, was it called Axiom Verve, or I can't remember what the, there was a kind of reboot indie Metroidvania that I played on my Switch or Vita, maybe, that was awesome. Ver Axiom Verge, Verve, I don't know. Yeah, insert the fuse. Sweet. All right. And we're rolling. Man, I'll tell you what. I've been playing a lot of games recently. And, you know, you never know what kind of state you're going to get a game in um, when you're trying them out for the first time. And this game is, like, completely done top to bottom. It's got cinematics. It's got cool graphics. The controls totally make sense. Um, oh, here's another one of these brains. There's lots to do. It's... You know, a game that you're familiar in and yet also feels unique, it's great. I'm having a good time with this. All right, we're going to go up here. Ooh, I need one more switch. Um, where's your other switch? Well, maybe we'll figure it out. Here, come over here, you. Now, that ain't the right button. I ain't figuring that out. Okay. Unless, if I flip this, does this open? That's a big no. Alright. <laughs> so, I'd either need a way to, you know, shoot... I don't know... Let me see. Can it be... Yeah, it's one or the other. So, I need a way to shoot that switch, like a bomb or something. A timed delay. Yeah, because I can't... And I can't shoot it down. Okay, well, good to know. 
It's a classic Metroidvania. I just need a different power than what I have to get over there. Um, let me look at the map. Sweet. I love this. I'll tell you what. Me and Directions, maps just get about a thousand, or maps make a game about a thousand times better. Oh, here's Big Boy. Hi, Eyeball. Um, oh, it's Dr. Inaya. Ah, so you must be Moon. It's good to see you again after all this time. How are you holding up? You know my name? Listen, if you don't want me to flip you off, like, in an existential way, you'd better explain. So feisty. As you know, 13 years ago, a system-wide failure caused catastrophic damage. Many workers died within days. An outbreak of spark blood getting most of them, but some were resistant. Any remaining workers I found, I helped to stasis pods, much like I did with you. I found you after that nasty crash you had. Your ship was barely salvageable. You were beat up pretty bad, a horrible sight. So I did what I could, and I got you in a pod. The whole time, your ship's AI kept calling me Moon. And now here you are, alive and well. Moon in the flesh. And that pod did what? Kept me alive? Listen, I'm sure you were just a robot following protocol. Ha! Robot. Honey, you're talking to an honest-to-God human being, just without my body, as you can see. That's... horrifying? I was luckier than the rest, but I couldn't sustain myself forever. Shortly after saving you, I uploaded myself into this machine, and I plan to save the others, too. If you find any remaining stasis pods, download their imprints and bring them to me. Oh, I did. Uh, why? You worked for Foray. You claimed to be human. You put me in stasis for 12 years because we can help each other out. Your ship was pinging endlessly for a very specific life signature, a life signature it finally located. Wendy? Wendy Mikono, lead scientific researcher on Terra 6. I now know precisely where she is. You help me out, I'll upload that data to your map. Deal. Wonderful. Now, if you don't mind disposing of a pesky security drone for me, it keeps interfering with my work. It's just past a security door at the bottom of the lab. I'll make sure you have clearance. Consider it done. Don't forget imprints. Bring me my imprints, darling. All right, so here's one for you. And, oh, she gives you a bunch of cash. Okay, cool. At least that's what you get for one. You might get, ooh, secret door. More for more. Um... What's this? Oh my. Um, this is like totally Metroid room. I can't do this right now. But it's cool. Alright. Well, we can try to get you more brains. That makes good sense. Um. Nope. Ow. I got hit by, like, the easiest dude right there. That's something. All right. Um, Go back this way, I guess. Now let me see where I am on the map. Okay. So I got clearance, which maybe I can use to go back to the robot and go down. Ow. I need more health. Uh, let's see. No, this is my ship. Mm-hmm. Alright, this is where I beat my first mini-boss. Take that. All right. Now, that looks cool, but I'd need some way to destroy blocks or, um, you know, go down to get there. But I don't... I haven't figured that out yet. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Sweet. All right, let me see where I am. All right, there is a way down below me, but I'd need the way to hit that switch. Awesome. Well, everybody, here's where we are on the map. And we have a lot to do. We have a lot to explore. We now have a clearer picture of what's going on. 
And I'm really enjoying this game, Rebel Transmute, so far, and I'd love to know what you think of the game. Let me know of your impressions of this game in the comments below. Does this look like a Metroidvania that you'd like to explore and play? Remember, it is out. Um, I'm recording this actually on the 11th, so it's out today on Steam. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. And it's coming to consoles on the 14th if you're interested as well. Let me know what you think in those comments below so I can see if you guys want me to play more of this or what your impressions are. And I will check you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.